Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. We're here again with Bill Jordan. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing great. Hope you guys are. Yeah. Hey, doing great, Bill. You know, I have a question for you because as a baby boomer, ah. um, I think we're all getting a little bit older. That's part of the and, deal. Um, Beats the option. It's it's the uh, the uh, what do they say? Viva la difference. The difference between the sexes. Right. It never changes. It never changes. Uh, I saw yesterday. I might have this week sometime. I saw an article, probably online, that the famous model Lauren Hutton. Remember her with the gap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lauren Hutton just turned 77, and they had a current picture of her, and she's gorgeous. She's fabulous. She, she looks great at any age, but she's 77. And I thought to myself, you know, uh, men always are going to appreciate women, no matter what their age. There's always something there that you can find that is attractive. Well, absolutely. You know, age is... Uh, you know, there was a... I actually tried to find this on Google because I saw this years ago in an interview and it stuck with me for whatever reason. And I, I don't even know if I was 40 years of age at the time, but actress Allie McGraw, speaking of another actress, and I've seen pictures of her in the last six months or so, and I think they are current, and she is beautiful. She's let her hair, you know, we talked before about women letting their hair go gray or silver. Allie McGraw has let hers go silver and she's absolutely gorgeous. But Allie McGraw had a comment Again, I wish I could remember it exactly, but it was it was about how women really come of age at 40 years old. It's like the confluence of wisdom and beauty meet at 40 years old and they just get better. You know, that that may sound cliche, you know, getting better like fine wine. But I yeah. do believe there is something about in in women that, are, you know, growing older, it's like something about a woman turning 40 and owning that not trying to hide from it, that confidence also is, it's an attitudinal thing. I truly believe, I mean, I've got a, I've got a high school, I've got my 50th high school reunion coming up next year. And we keep in touch on Facebook and stuff like that. And many of my female classmates are absolutely gorgeous. Still, still, yeah. you know, so I, I, I hope, I really wish that women wouldn't wear and it, but I think a lot of it is society. Uh, and media that that and we've talked about this before you pick up any women's magazine and it's always about how to hide the wrinkles and how to lose the weight and how to cover the gray and it's all driven by fear and I just there's something about confidence this came up actually uh, gosh maybe a year or so ago I was talking to my wife and something about you know weight and women gaining weight and I told her I said I can remember two instances I mean specifically and very detailed of two times we've been at the beach in the summer and not actually at the beach, but at a pool and where we were staying and two women who society would say are overweight. Society would deem them overweight. Both were rocking bikinis and both had such an air of confidence that they are burned into my brain. I thought they were so sexy and attractive based on the confidence and how they carried themselves, had nothing to do with their weight. Nothing. Yeah. So wait, so let's do a little recap here, okay? Because uh, I'm taking this all in. Okay, I'm glad you are. That um, you've set the bar that uh, women over 40, so that's saying that that basically started when uh, they have to start looking attractive in a different way from there's just the, the, the tight, youthful skin and all the other issues that uh, sometimes they're trying to overcome but uh, as they get older. but So 40 is what you're defining as an older woman. I'm, I'm quoting Allie McGraw. Okay, Allie. Okay, so again, it's I'm not, calling. I'm, this is not my rule, but, okay, I, but I have noticed that with age, if, if women, if any of us, will own the age, and this is what we are, it right. is reality right? You own it, you accept it, and yeah. wear it with pride that it is not unattractive. And that's the, that's the attitude you're talking about. It, that, it's not, that is the, it's not exactly. the age. It's not the age. It's 
it's being secure enough to accept who you are. Absolutely. The Absolutely. way you are. And that's an attractive quality, I think, in Absolutely. men as well. Right. Yeah. You know, you, you for know me, insecure, insecurity is not attractive, male right. or female. So for me, for me, the, my thing about uh, age and women is makeup. But I, I think younger women can end up wearing too much makeup. But for me, it bothers me more that older women would wear too much makeup overdo right. it you know the right. war paint and everything like that yeah because again I, I think it hints of that same thing they're trying to hide something you don't need to hide it you yeah, know? i think if, i don't I think care if, if your skin isn't you know if you've got uh, a few wrinkles and if you've got right. uh, sunspots it doesn't that's who you are i love freckles for instance you know yeah i i think that if women knew and i guess i can only speak for me but you guys may agree with me if women knew how little makeup they really maybe need or want or should use. They overdo a lot. That women are really, really attractive. It's kind of the less is more thing. And I wonder if they don't sometimes do that for other women. That's that's what they say, yeah. You know, if they're if they're trying to be attractive to other women and live up to that standard because I mean, in my in, the magazines tell them to look that exactly way. the magazines. Yeah. And, and quite honestly, in my in my 40 year radio career around the office, it was the women that talked about the other women, not not the guys weren't bad mouthing women in the office. It was. And I, I think I've told you this before. My first job as a bank teller in the summer, one one bank, female bank teller. I was the only guy. One one girl would go on break. They'd all talk about her. She'd come back. Another one go. They'd all talk about her. That's why you yeah. never took a break. Oh, no, I took a break. It's like, you know, I don't know what they're saying about me, but, you know, I'm sure it's something. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, if we could just, you know, support each other. We're all humans for crying out loud. We're trying to, everything doesn't have to be a competition other than maybe just trying to be better in some way than you were yesterday. Well, Phil, I'm you know, you're person, the only person I'm competing with is me. Do you, do, you remember, do you remember when Gloria Steinem came out and said, this is what 50 looks like? Uh, that was 30, 30 years ago, I guess. I don't know. But that was a right. great moment, not only for women, but for men. You right. know? Right. Well, you know, well, something, you know, I, you, uh, uh, Bill, you brought up, uh, and I, I have to, you know, take uh, exception uh, with some of your philosophies, this being one of them. You said you were talking about all the years you spent in radio. Okay. Uh, that's not a place where you re actually really need makeup. As far as I understand it. <laughs> so I'm just saying that, you know, that was a little bit misleading uh, as far as your philosophies go. But uh, I had a, just as a, as a note, uh, I do think that the aging process and how people look, it, the attitude counts. Uh, I used to uh, follow a, uh, uh, a photographer who, through most of his younger life, uh, did young, beautiful women models, a lot of nudes, things like that, really, you know, in their prime of, of life, uh, of, of being physically fit and what have you. And later in, in years, unfortunately, he passed away. His name is John, J-O-N Barry, B-A-R-R-Y. You can probably find him online uh, someplace. He did a whole series of pictures of older people in general, but women in particular, where we caught them in all the glory of the lines on their face and all that experience. And they were just as beautiful as some of the younger, because it's, it had all the qualities of a life well lived and still being. Exactly. Lived. So exactly. You know, I mean, and, and women, to their credit, they seem to be pretty open to when guys get older. You know, you still show them a Harry, what's he like 77 now, Tom Selleck. They're still swooning over that guy. Mark Harmon is probably 70 ish, still swooning over that guy. So let's just accept each other here. We, you know, we're on this journey together. The option, you know, what, what's the, hey, you're getting older. Hey, what's the alternative? Isn't yeah, that the goal? You know, I haven't seen Tom Selleck in his uh, short shorts in a while. Well, you know, I, you know I, I guess you did see that. I mean, I posted on Facebook. It was, uh, uh, it was just this meme of, when when Tom Selleck was uh, Thomas Magnum getting out of the Ferrari, you mm -hmm. know, and his right. shorts were, I mean, like up to like where his pockets are, right? And the women were just drooling all over this. Even my own daughter was like, 
no, men cannot wear this and get away with it, but that man can. <laughs> Say, thanks, daughter. Yeah. You know. All right, well, when your daughter gets into the conversation, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we're talking about this subject matter. Yeah, yeah. It makes, makes me squirm a little bit. Hey, Bill, uh, thanks for your uh, Embrace the Boom movement Thank and you your guys. philosophical outlook on life. We love it. I appreciate it. Always, always a great time hanging with you guys. See you soon. See you all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.